All right, it is your boy Tigu here. It is March 17th, 11 p.m. Tomorrow morning is gonna be very interesting because like I said, I'm trying this new workout first thing in the morning, you know, workout early just because I feel like it's gonna give me more energy throughout the day, but also it's just knowing that your workout's done, you know, and you don't have to worry about it later in the day. It really does take a little bit off the mental. I don't know if I'll be able to do like, if I would be able to do the same principle with heavy squats. But also, note another thing, guys. It's, like I said, March 17th. That means we are on, like, semi-quarantine, semi-lockdown, you know, because of the coronavirus, you know. Or as intellectuals like to call it, COVID-19. But anyways, I'm in Texas, guys, and I'm in um, the Houston area, Harris County to be specific. And over here, restaurants are dying, in, or takeout only, you know, delivery only. Bars are closed, public gyms are closed, commercial gyms are closed. Now there are a few private gyms that are still open. Whether they're allowed, they're gonna be allowed to remain open for the duration of this, that is to be seen. So I'm still trying to work out, you know. Um, I feel like as long as everybody's very um, conscious about the guidelines and actually following the guidelines, like, you know, wipe your, your equipment before and after you use it. Don't be coughing on stuff. Don't come to the gym if you're sick or if you've been around sick people, you know, if people follow these guidelines, I think these private gyms might be safe enough of a place, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, but tomorrow morning, you know, I'm not going to go to a private gym or anything because I'm not signed up to one. I haven't even found one yet, S but we're gonna be doing a workout tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is technically shoulders, so I'm gonna try my best to keep working out throughout this patch because we are on, the, or I think all of the USA maybe is like 15 days of, I don't know if it's all of USA actually, but definitely the Texas, you know, we're 15 days of the semi-lockdown. Semi so we'll see what we can do here, but that is a start. That was a long start, sorry guys, of <laughs> this video. Oh man, March 18th, I just woke up. It's 5.49 in the a.m. A little early, we're gonna go get a workout in. One way or another, let's freaking go. Listen to the sounds of nature and the jangle jangling of my keys that are right next to the camera. These are the tennis courts. Super early, though, 6 30 a.m. And uh, uh, this is where we're gonna be. It's really good though today because actually, today is uh, my aye, delt, which only requires just a couple of sets of dumbbells, really. So, and I can do everything. So, here we go, boys. Need some light though, you know what I'm saying? That little amount of light right there, it's kind of awkward, you know. We're just gonna turn it up, turn up, turn up the lights all the way, baby this one. That's so dark out here. Hang on a second. Oh yeah. Let there be light. <laughs> Alright boys and girls, here it is. We got the speaker. We got the three sets of dumbbells. This is all it takes really. We got the 50s, which is a little lighter than normal, but that's okay. We got the 30s and the 20s, so... Gonna be working out out here. I'm already a little tired because I had to walk all of these dumbbells from my car all the way to the courts. And uh, that is kind of a long walk, especially with the 50s. But anyways, let's freaking get to it. I have like about, uh, let's see, an hour and a little hour, like an hour and 15 minutes to get this workout done before work starts. But works right here on the courts anyways, so that's perfect. Also guys, I love the wildlife out here. I'm not even trolling, like this is so cool. Check this out. We got right here a Luna Moth. Look at this thing, let's zoom in. Oh, that is so cool. And then down here, I've never seen this one before, but look at this. It's a little dark, let's brighten it up a bit. Look at this thing. Look at that, whoa. I thought it was a leaf at first, but it's a, it's a moth. I don't know about y'all, but I legit think moths are pretty cute. They're like furry little, you know, furry little animals. Okay, it is, oh, this sounds so much better than the first time I recorded. Okay, it is your boy, Tigo right here. We're gonna go through this dumbbells only using the park benches semi-quarantine workout lockdown in America right now, or at least in Texas. I don't wanna speak for everybody because I don't really do 
that much research into it. All right, the great, I'm not gonna talk too much about all these exercises because a lot of these you guys have already seen. I'll more talk about my um, ideology bet uh, behind these exercises and just the effectiveness of, effectiveness of the workout in general. So this Dell day is really good because um, just with these dumbbells, I can do pretty much every single exercise I need to do, hit all the parts of the shoulder that I need to hit with just these dumbbells. This is the same exercise that I would start with normally, even if I were going to the gym. The only difference is that I had to lean my back against that fence right there. This is also the normal exercise that I would do. The weight is lighter on this one and the reps are higher because this is more of a burnout. Now I'm not sure, but my shoulder definition has definitely gone up since before and I feel like part of that is just because I've been really burning out the shoulders after hitting that main heavy movement. This is three sets of 12 standing shoulder press. After this, we go into a superset. So even this is the same thing that I would do in the gym. There's nothing different yet so far. So we're gonna go with uh, three supersets, 15 reps each on the lateral raises and then into 12 reps each on the front raises. The weights here are 20 pounds, this is the lightest dumbbells that I have. And I'm focusing on form here guys, or I'm focusing on feel I should say. I go to the top of the movement, I squeeze a little bit, hold it there for a slight second. Even if you guys can't tell that much in the video, it's like I feel it. And you can see my muscles actually contracting there. And then on the way down, all I focus on is trying to resist the gravity a little bit. Like I don't wanna just completely limp out my arms and just let it fall flaccid arming it. I want to resist a little bit. Give a little bit of resistance, guys. And then we move on to the next superset. Now, this is the only, well, this and the next exercise are the only things that are different from what I would be doing in the gym. Normally, when I get to this section, I would be using the cable machines. But because I don't have that, we're just doing different variations, but working out the same parts that I would be working out with the cable machines. So we start with a leaning lateral raise. So you grab onto something, lean over a little bit. This just gives you a little bit more range of motion or a little bit more gravity tug at the top, which theoretically helps work out that shoulder a little bit more. And then you go into the single arm rear delt fly. Now, be very careful with the rear delt fly. Um, if you only have a limited set of dumbbells, like this 20 pound dumbbell, that's a little heavier than what I would normally be doing on a rear delt exercise. So you have to be very careful because that's a very delicate area of the shoulder. The rear delts can cause a lot of issues, um, even going into the front of the shoulder if you mess it up. So make sure you're very focused on the form. Don't swing too much. Use your muscle to bring that weight up, contract at the top, and then resist on the way down a little bit. Three sets right here, 15, set, 15 reps each. And then the final exercise right here, I would normally be using that rear delt uh, or pec fly machine, you know? But because I don't have that, we're doing the dumbbell rear delt fly. Four sets of 12 right here. Normally I do 15, but like I said, these dumbbells are a little too heavy. So I'm really trying to be careful here, focusing on the form, not using too much body English, not too much body English, not too much uh, momentum. Just trying to get that weight up there, contract and let it fall. And that is the complete shoulder workout. All right guys, so that was the end of the shoulder workout. So let me just tell you guys, Basically all, ooh, okay, all I've got right now as for, is this a focus? Okay, all I've got for equipment at right now is I've got a set of 50 pound dumbbells, a set of 30 pound dumbbells, and a set of 20 pound dumbbells. And then I have some resistance bands, you know, the orange bands, not sure how much pressure, like, or how much pull that has. And I got the set of uh, red resistance bands, but that's all I've got. And then I'm just using the, the benches that are on the uh, tennis courts as benches. So I'm going to be improvising uh, until, you know, until the gyms are back in order. Not sure how long that's going to be. It's pretty wild, you know, what's going on, but um, it's, it's kind of fun, actually. It's kind of fun improvising and, like, trying to figure out what you can do to work the muscles. Um, but, you know, I acknowledge that you, I can't work out every muscle that I was able to work out at the gym just because of lack of equipment, you know. Like, most, like, anything free weight and things like that I can do. But there are just some things that you really can't, like you need equipment to, 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 to do, I feel like. And we just don't, have that, just don't have that equipment. But, you know, for those who are like me and you want something to do, like still get a little bit of workout in, but maybe you don't have the equipment. There's some ideas in these workouts. I'll be posting more. This one, there's nothing wrong with this. This is pretty much a full shoulder workout um, without any machines. So 
This one's pretty useful if you have some dumbbells or something. So I've got some other uh, videos, like they should come before this one, but this is very relevant right now and some people might be looking, some people who follow my channel might be looking for things they want to do um, during this weird period of unease. So I'm going to be, you know, the, the days, the chronological order, these videos might not follow chronological order, but it will follow uh, in terms of rel relativity, relevance order. So, yep. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that one or got something out of it. I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace!